Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining as ever. So, it's transfers and rumours and as well, sorry this video is a little bit late. I've literally not long since got in um, and I've quickly got up to do uh, this video for you guys. Um, so, one in, one out. Um, so far in the January transfer window, it's well and truly open. Um, now, I was going to do a video yesterday talking about players. Well, I did do videos. I just couldn't. We had we had some sound issues, not suitable to upload. I wasn't happy with the quality. But there you go. So today we have to do a video because Barnsley have recruited and we've also lost a player. Um, so one in, one out. Um, Liam Kitchen, who has been heavily rumoured before the transfer window uh, even opened, has joined the Reds on a four-year deal. Central defender, capable of playing left back uh, from uh, Forest Green, four-year deal. Uh, very happy that we've got one deal over the line looking forward to it uh, ex-Leeds Academy player as well so hoping well it all works out for him uh, giving him a four year deal which obviously is a big contract to give out uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing him obviously it makes things very interesting in terms of our defence because at the moment last few weeks or maybe even last few months you could say we've been Happy with how defensively we have been defensively minded, although sometimes we are holding a high line, but then again, that's tactic more than individual players. So who he comes in for, if he does, or whether he's going to be cover, we wait and see for that. But obviously, there's also Hapo Alm. Uh, we'll be wondering what's going to happen with his future now, now that this lad's uh, come in. 21 years of age, so he is a young age. Maybe one, maybe we might see more of next season. Who knows? I know that we were linked with him for heavily for quite a while. So, fingers crossed, you know, you know it all works out for him and, and obviously Barnsley uh, itself. Um, so, yeah, really, really good. Um, it's usually an undisclosed fee. I'm not 100% sure how much we have paid uh, for Liam Kitchen. But uh, nevertheless, you know, I'm delighted overall that we have got a signing done. And we can't knock it before anybody starts saying lower league players, blah, blah, blah. Let's not forget where Ethan Pinnock came from. Ethan Pinnock was Forrest Green. Um, so we can't knock these younger players coming up, as well as uh, Callum Britton, MK Dons, you know, league below us. Uh, so this, you, you give these players. I'd rather have these players, you know, who are making a big impact in the our English lower leagues than the ones coming over from overseas. You know, Sol Bowers worked, I suppose. Um, uh, so yeah, very happy, very happy that we've got a signing in early doors. And you know, listen, I'd uh, I'd look at getting him uh, a go. I, I, I bet he's cup tied, and if a Saturday, I've, I've not I've not had chance to look into that, but I bet he might be cup tied. Uh, so speaking to Barnsley, he said I'm delighted. Uh, when the move came about, I didn't think twice about it. It's a massive club, massive club. We've got <laughs> and to move up from League Two to the Championship and get back up north. I'm just excited for the challenge. Yeah, is that's another thing as well. Uh, he is a he is a local lad, so the move will have been perfect for him. And obviously, moving two leagues up, you know, uh, you know, it is hard to turn down that. And this is where we always operate, where we have done in the past. The lower league players who stand out, who obviously meet the criteria. And it's great to see. Uh, of course, we've seen an, a, a player go out in Matty James. And it is looking unlikely that he will be rejoining. Which is a big, big shame, if you ask me. I think he's been brilliant. I think he's been one of his best players, footballing-wise, since he joined from Leicester. His second loan spell. He is rumoured to be joining Coventry for the rest of the season on loan. So, that, yeah, to... to for that, but from what I've I gather and from what I've seen on social media, I saw it earlier that apparently um, Leicester wants us to pay eighteen grand towards his wages, and I think that is a heavy, a big sum of money for Barnsley to fork out, and I can understand us not going ahead with that. So hopefully, if it, if it's down to that, then fair play. But if we're just not doing it because we don't want him, I, I'd be I'd be very shocked if we didn't. So I think it is down to wages. Leicester obviously wanting us to pay that amount. Uh, Coventry, you know, if they, Coventry. I don't know where Coventry. You know, the problems they have with money. Are they going to fork fork that out if they if it's going to be the same for them? But yeah, I'm I, I'm disappointed because Matty James is a very good footballer and you know you, he makes it even more worth now. Nah, keep it. We've got to keep Mowat. Um, and, and Herbie Kane, I'm, I'm sure, will come in and play that Matty James role. But I think I'd probably be, say 
Matty James is a better player in that position than Irby Kane at the moment. I think Irby Kane's better further up the field, a bit similar to uh, to Alex Mowat. So from what I can gather, it is wages with that. And I can understand Barnsley not willing to go that far in terms of that, especially for a loan and especially for, you know, someone who's not going to be here the uh, rest of the season. And, you know, who all been well. Who, who knows? He may end up, we may see him again in a red shirt. Who knows? I'm not sure how long his contract is at Leicester, but it is disappointing that we have lost such a good player in him. But there's not we can do. He's not our player. Uh, so there we go guys, that's the transfers and rumours from today, excellent that we have got one player in though, Liam Kitchen, looking forward to seeing him in a red shirt, all positive really, other than Matty James, um, but we, we take it day by day in the transfer window, uh, so yeah, let me know what you think on the signing guys, and obviously Matty James leaving the club, and uh, that's all I could say, can say, and say thank you to you guys for watching, get, get your comments in, give us a like, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you in the next one. You Reds.